I'm here to read you a bedtime story. Do you like bedtime stories? I do. I read every night to my daughter. This is her little room. She's got a dream catcher. Do you have a dream catcher? They're good for keeping your nice dreams and getting rid of the nasty ones. I have great dreams. I have great adventures in my dreams. I've got a story about a great adventure. The Room on the Brim by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Scheffler. Shall we have a read? There we can see the witch and her broom. And what else? Let's see. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred, and how the witch grinned, <laughs> as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed, and how the cat when the wind blew the, so wildly, it blew off the hat. Ah! Down! cried the witch. And they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Oh. Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud ah, ha, 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 and held on to her hat. But the wind blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Down! cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Oh no. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting screech, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said, as the witch tied the plait in her bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Screech! Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Oh, look, the weather's turning for the worst, isn't it? Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The birds shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Oh no, the witch can't be without her wand. Then all of a sudden from out of a pond leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. Isn't that lucky? He dropped it politely then said with a croak as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak. I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes 
cried the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. And... The broom snapped in two. Oh, good grief, look at that, it's broken. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. Ooh, the witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud. And the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Ooh, what's that? I am a dragon as mean as can be and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked around but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips, mm, said maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. And there's the poor witch, helpless. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it spoke was a yowl and a growl and a crack and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched and it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. Ooh, look at that scary monster. Look at the dragon. He's very scared now, isn't he? He's quite worried. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you. The grateful witch cried, without you I'd be in that dragon's inside. Oh, it was her friends. There she is. She's so happy to see them all. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the, do the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them in. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Isn't that a marvellous broom? The frog's even got his own shower. How fabulous. What would your broom have? Hmm? I think I'd like a broom with a nice cosy bed to snuggle up in. That would be comfy, wouldn't it? 
Thanks. See you again soon.